So our next question is find the smallest number by which 8788 must be multiplied to a time a perfect cube. So actually is that perfect cube or not first of all we have to check. So go with 2. So 2 4 za then 2 3 za 6 then 2 9 za then 2 4 za 18 then go with 2 again. So 2 2 za 4 then 2 1 za 2 then 2 9 za 18 then 2 7 za. So is that divisible by 2? No. Is that divisible by 3? So how to divisible by 3 or not we have to check then it will be 12. 19. 19 is not divisible by 3. Then again 5. No. Then like that if you go means so is that divisible by 11 or not we have to check. So it's not divisible by 11 also then go with 13. So 13 will go means next prime number 13. 13 ones are 13 then 13 ones are then 21 minus 13 will become 8. 89 then 13 six are so 13 six are what? 78 then what you will get 13 nines are so 13 nines are then again it will be divisible by 13 only then 13 13 za 13 13 za 169 so like that you can write so write 8 7 8 8 will be equal to 2 into 2 into 13 into 13 into 13 so what we are getting here these are three pairs and there is no for this so you can write 2 square into 13 cube so if you multiply the 2 so smallest smallest number smallest number is 2 2 multiply multiply 8788 to obtain perfect cube so if you multiply this one 8088 with the 2 then what you'll get 88 into 2 17 5 7 6 so that one we will get so what is that actually 17 5 17 6 we will get 26 that will be 26 cube so that is the answer so if you take 26 into 26 into 26 then you'll get 17,576 thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not just subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this fourth question what smallest number should 7803 be multiplied with so that the product become a perfect cube so it should be perfect cube means you will get keep the root of 7803 will be some value so let's find 7803 is the perfect cube or not it's not divisible by 2 why because 3 is unit place then go with 3 3 2 is a 6 then 3 6 is a 18 then 0 1 then again go with 3 so 3 8 za 24 20 then 3 6 za 18 then 3 7 za again can you go with 3 yes 3 2 za 6 then 3 so 3 2 za then 3 8 za 24 again 26 3 9 za 298 as we know 17 into 17 is 290 289 so let's write 7 8 0 3 will be 3 into 3 into 3 17 into 17 so actually what you can take here 3 is pair and 2 is 7 so 3 cube into 17 square but in order to make 7 7803 it should be multiplied with the 17 so 17 should be multiplied 17 should be multiplied with 7803 to become to become perfect cube 
so whatever if it is a multiply with that then you'll get so 7 not 8 not 3 into 17 if you do means then 3 cube into 17 square into 17 that will be 3 cube into 17 whole cube so that is the mean so what you can take so otherwise multiply with this 7 8 0 3 into 17 if you are multiplying then what you'll get 1 lakh that's 2651 that is what you can write 3 cube into 17 cube like that we can make or you can calculate like this also how to do is so keep the root of 1,32,651 will be equal to keep the root of 3 cube into 17 cube so 3 cube into 17 cube that is keep the root of 3 into 17 whole cube then cube and keep the root will go into cancel 3 into 17 so 3 into 17 will be 51 so like that thanks for watching please subscribe so our next question is find the smallest number by which 8640 must be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube actually multiply division whatever it is there first of all we have to check if the root of 8640 is a perfect cube or not so 8640 let's take with 2 4 za then 2 3 za then 2 2 za then 0 za then 2 2 za 4 2 1 za 2 then 2 6 za 12 and 0 then again go with 2 1 za 2 8 za then 0 za sorry here 2 1 za 16 will not get directly you have to put 0 then you will take 16 then again go with 2 5 za 10 then 2 4 za then 0 za then again go with 2, 2 2 za 4, 2 7 za, then 10. Then again go with 2, 2 1 za, 2 3 za 6, then 2 5 za. Then it will not divide with 2, then go for 3. 3 4 za 12, then 3 5 za 15. Again go with 3, 3 1 za, then 3 5 za. Again go with 3 5 za. So there, up to there, we can end. So let's take. 8640 can be written in the format of 2 into 2 into 2 first 3 I am added then next 2 then 2 into 2 into 2 then again 3 into 3 into 3 into 5 so here how many pairs are there 3 3 then 3 so 5 only it is there so let's take what you can write here is 2 cube into 2 cube into 3 cube into 5 so here what we need to divide if you remove this file from this if you remove from this divide divide with 5 means then it will become perfect cube the quotient will become perfect cube so from quotient we are removing 5 so it can be 2 into 2 into 3 whole cube into 5 so here what we need to 5 is is to be 5 therefore 5 is single there is no pair for that for that 5 is to be is to be divided divided to 8640 to get perfect cube to get perfect cube to get perfect cube thanks for watching please subscribe